All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is day two of rigging the brand new 921 Elite, my new Phoenix. And we're here at BassBoatElectronics.com here in uh, in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Got Jason over here. He's working What's overtime. Up? Coming in on the weekend. Dude, Saturdays are made for rigging. <laughs> so what are we gonna do um, this morning? Obviously, we gotta get the whole boat pretty much done today. But uh, what's what's the plan? So the plan is start the bow, get it all dialed in, lock down, and just work our way all the way back to the back. Get everything nice and neat as we go from the bow back to the back. Get the battery set up, all the wiring, whole nine yards. So that's our plan. We've got our work cut out for us, but it's gonna be one sweet right here <laughs> it's gonna be awesome so we got as you guys saw on the first video on day one uh, we've got this bass boat technologies mount here uh, for the bow we've also got one for the console which i don't think we have out yet but we'll be showing you that shortly we also have to you know rig up the battery system we've got to uh epoxy the uh the through hole transducer uh and do all that stuff so it's going to be a big process, but we're getting started and we're going to definitely get finished today. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get all this dialed in. day this guy right here worked extremely hard along with uh, uh ronnie man he knocked it out of the park so he came in both of these guys came in on a saturday and to work on this boat and i essentially spent most of my time unwrapping the old boat but check this baby out we have got a very very special rig here we got hummingbird lawrence lawrence hummingbird garmin on the bow come on I'm gonna let you walk through it real quick. All right, come Tell on, us start, about it. Let's start up here where you do most of the work. All right, so of course we've got the Garmin LiveScope up on top. Yep. This is the new LiveScope transducer, updated one, single wire design, a little bit more flexible. Got the Hummingbird 360 on here as well. This thing is awesome on the Solix series. No better view, independent of the solar motor, rotating view, lining up on structure. And that's a G3, right? Correct, yeah, yep. so that's a Solix 12 Gen 3. This unit right here is the Garmin 1243 XSV, one of Garmin's newest units. Just a sleek, low profile, high resolution, great detail, very rugged display. So that's one of the newest displays from Garmin. And then of course we couldn't leave out the Lowrance HGS 12 Live, mm -hmm. best waypoint management system in the game. So that's a staple up here. So you got everything, Miles. Yeah, and we got the Motor Guide Tour Pro. That's the third year I've, I've run the Tour Pro. And big triple mount up here. That's Master right. Technologies, their gimbal brackets. And the Tour Pro, we actually have one with the uh, Universal HD sonar. So we've got that hooked up to the Lowrance um, via the uh, the adapter. We got the DD26 wrap on this. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is this is the deal right here. Whenever you're uh, you've got all these different wires, man, you want to keep them all organized and nice and sleek. So we've got that, uh, what else? So let's go over the console real quick. You first. Yeah, the console turned out really, really well. Yeah, it really did, man. And we also have to mention, we got the, the Bass Boat Technologies mount up here. It is real solid. Same thing on the console. Um, man, the way that they, they over, uh, engineer these man uh, there's a actual uh, a, a custom base plate inside the shroud and then also outside the shroud so you've got 
all kinds of protection, but go ahead. Yeah, I mean, that backing plate's pretty solid. I mean, when you have this much weight, and you know, Miles isn't easy on <laughs> boats, you know. I don't so. try to be hard on a boat. <laughs> well, you know, you're fishing for a living. You gotta go hard, so. <laughs> this thing is built to last. I mean, that thing is awesome. So it was really good design on Van's part at Bass Boat Technologies, doing the two different ledges. Just basically builds off the whole platform on the Phoenix boat and creates a real solid um, platform for those heavy units. Yep, and uh, both of these units, Lawrence and the Humminbird, we've got two transducers, right? Correct, yeah. All right, so we've got mega um, a side imaging, uh, and then of course structure scan, the three-in-one transducer back there. And we're gonna be using the Navionics maps on both of those and also on the bow. And here we go. This was the last part of the day, um, but arguably the most important. I mean, you gotta power all the, these electronics in the trolling motor. So we've got 300 amp hour uh, lithium battleborne batteries of course and then we've got our two cranking batteries we got two group 31s agms for cranking and house batteries correct correct yeah both those batteries are actually in parallel so you got double capacity um, with the power pole charge basically need one big battery bank on your 12 volt side and one bank at 36 volt and it makes both those shears power back and forth use your alternator to charge your 12 volt and your 36 on the run you can move power accordingly so i was a little worried on this one right here <laughs> we were running out of space for the spare prop and he, he asked do you need a spare back here and i said uh absolutely <laughs> yeah i uh i didn't sleep well one night just planning on all this i thought there was no way we were going to be able to fit this and have the power that you need to run that full setup but we pulled it off got some ba great battery trays fast boat technology that's actually two double trays Mm -hmm. side by side with one large strap over both of them and we so. balanced the boat out because that one of my the things that we wanted to do was make sure that we we you know didn't put all the weight over here because these agms are like twice the weight if not more than twice the weight as those battle borns as we know i mean those things are real light they're only 36 pounds a piece and these are probably 80. <laughs> yeah those things are tanks but yeah we balanced it out so obviously we've got heavy duty wire to parallel both those ran everything through the uh, switch, so you still got the full on-off switch. And we did do a custom wiring harness, you know, on all our installs, we build our own wiring harness just so it's exact length, bus blocks, so you can tie in some units and stuff. We also carry some uh, pre-made harnesses that are convenient as well, but wiring's key. I mean, we, that's a big question, but you gotta start with the foundation, that's your batteries. If you don't have enough power to run it, doesn't matter what your wire is, but then obviously step two is having the right wire, everything fused and terminated correctly and uh that's what keeps us busy all right oh man well like i said this guy worked his tail off today uh came in on the weekend so i dude i can't thank you enough Good. every every single year man he, teamwork he, man teamwork i was i was barely present i was out <laughs> here ra unwrapping the old boat and, and so he he him and ronnie did most of the work but these guys, you know, BassBoatElectronics.com, you've got to check them out if you're looking for Bass Boat, uh, you know, electronics, or, you know, just want a, a complete overhaul of your electronic system, this is the guy. Jason's the guy. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. This is the 921 Elite, uh, uh, you know, boat build uh, video. You know, we do this every single year, but this, I think, is the best one we've, we've ever done. Right, Jason? Oh, yeah. This thing is decked out. <laughs> So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Next up is breaking this puppy in and dialing in all the electronics and everything on this boat. So thank you guys very much. And I'm gonna see you out on the water. Take care.